Welcome to another unit in this SPSS course. In this course, in this unit, I'm going to talk about how we can use a functionality of the R Essentials for SPSS to generate, to easily generate dummy variables from either larger nominal or larger ordinal variables. Well, as I said, you need the R Essentials for SPSS for this. If you do not know what they are or how you can install them, feel free to visit the unit corresponding to working installing the R Essentials, which is also part of this course. Else, well, in this case, when we already have them installed and activated this function, we could go to transform, uh, so, yeah, transform, then here, create dummy variables. Then, in the right field up here, we just input our nominal or ordinal variable. So, for example, here I have clothing sizes for different sizes like S, M, L, XL, and so forth. Can put them here, and then down here I can give him like a root name. So that's the basis. So I could start with size. Then he will start at this point, because I have an ascending order, with the first one, size 1, being the smallest size. So this will be 1, all the rest will be 0. Then he will go to the next one, size 2, would be the second largest size, 1 for this size, 0 for all the others. Well, I could also then here select whether I should copy the value labels and add some additional parts to make this the way I want this to be. However, the way we use this here, once you define the dummy variable, once you give him some kind of root name to work with, you're basically good to go. You can click here and OK. You see at this point how this works five new variables, one for each of the available clothing sizes. And if I to switch now here to my variable and data view, I see that's the five new variables I have with a description what they actually showed. So this is size S, M, L, XL, XXL. If I go to data view, I actually see the part back here because before was here in F4. You see it reads F4 being equal to was in F4. So F2, 2. So here those two are 1, the rest is 0. Then I have 3's here. That's where this second one is 1. And the rest of the values are 0. So here I get a set of new dummy variables with which I then can work which then I could introduce, for example, into regression models. So that's the neat, easy way to fastly generate dummy variables. Well, this was already everything there is to this unit. So um, I hope you enjoyed listening to this short, but in my opinion, time-saving unit. And if you want to see more on SPSS or the SPSS Essentials, Feel free to visit the rest of this course or take a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.